Back on everybody, it's Bivi here, time to play some Control. I streamed this um, a couple of days ago, or was it one week ago, not remember that. And I decided to do a full walkthrough series of this game because it's a lot of easier than streaming. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you, show you guys uh, how this looks like on my screen. Uh, I, I'm putting everything settings to max and I'm going to render the spell very high quality level so people can join this um, my video as well so yeah I hope you guys are doing well today and all the support subscribing liking my video and leave a comment below if you like that really makes difference guys if you do that so yeah, let's let's get it on and start the gameplay and new game and uh, let's do the same shit again what we did uh, uh, one week ago when I was streaming. So yeah, we perhaps we can get there where I stop streaming to face that uh, the first boss fight. Uh, what what this guy name was? It it was a Thomasy or something like that. Some weird shit was going on when I was uh, playing a couple times against him, but I I do now how to beat beat him. I do now. Uh, there's a one trick, uh, but I didn't notice uh, when I was uh, fighting against him. Now I do. So yeah, okay. Let's start the gameplay, and you guys just grab all the popcorn stuff like that, smokes, whatever. Yeah, what makes you feel better? This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room... ...and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's... ...different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's a Billy here. Actually, the Bad Billy channel. And we are about to play some control game. 
All right. We already see that fitter proof control title on the wall before, so no need to investigate that. We just uh, go in here and grab some items. Uh, I still haven't figured out what these assets are. They are collectibles, but what's the point? I mean, that's what I wanted to know. There's a lot of documents. There's a ton, ton of uh, stuff what you can read, but... Uh, go to upstairs. So yeah, this guy on the wall here, as I mentioned before, uh, he's a manager ahead of the space city, I guess. So yeah, he's dead already. So we see him in a moment. We found him uh, dead at his office. And there was a gun right behind Federal front of him, Bureau so... Of control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Oh, what is in here? Some collectibles again. Yeah. Nothing new, huh? Same stuff again. Hello? There's that weird dude. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are a hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound that you have out. Huh. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor that was is a very friendly face in my book. <laughs> Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Okay. But that said... No face, huh? I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. So, we need to go to elevator. And press the button and everything explodes. <laughs> the cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother. 
Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Do we find anything useful here? There's a street chair. That's blocked, of course. Right, we are done here. But here, nothing really. Yeah. <sighs> Invest investigate the noise of the director office. Okay, this is it. Oh, he's dead, all right. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Yeah. Pick it up. Grab it. Come on. Grab it. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Oh, wow. This is so beautiful, Jackson. Check it out, the graphics, guys. It's so beautiful. I mean, uh, I heard this game looks like shit on consoles, and that might be true. It's a, a little bit shame, but that's how it is. This game is made for the PCs which have an RTX card. So you might miss the party if you play in this game on console. <laughs> oh my god, there it is! <laughs> the same gun. Alright, let's do it. Do this. Okay. Now I have a gun. Alright, we are about to get some action here, the real damage. I wanna kill somebody right now. There it is! Ooh. That was close. This gun is kinda annoying. Uh, it regenerates emissions when you don't use it. Sometimes I run out of ammo. Oh, come on. There they come with the guns. Oh, sneaky bastard. We are good. 
Nice. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after yep. the pyramid spoke to me, it, is. it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? No shit. I'm happy. <laughs> happy to be here. Things okay. have down outside. Is it safe to go? Nothing. Oh yeah. All right, the fun begins. Maybe I. S what the is happening? What was that? You stopped it. <laughs> you... Thank you. That was... Horror. Oh, leave me alone, guys. That's it. I'm gonna pick everything. I need to find some loot in boxes. Of course, it's locked. Right, here's our map. We're almost there where we need to be. There. The hotline. The hotline? Secure line of communication. Guidance. The hotline. The hotline. Dead man. Shit. Running out of ammo. Where is that last guy? Finally, they are down. Take it out this place completely. Ah, nothing. Personal mod? Wait, wait, wait. What we got? 
Health recovery on element pickup. Yes, sir. I want that. Go in here. There is that box. Come on, give me something useful. Ah, again. Let me check it out this place really quick. Collectibles, right? Oh, is that me? Check it out. It is me. And Mario can flag right behind of me. Am I some kind of director? Or the uh, FBI agent? Or something like that? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, check it out. These guys, they're hanging out. There. Oh yes, this is fun part. Really fun. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss, burrowing into everything in this place. That's the radio. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Oh yes, this is the part. Uh, I need to go down there and face my worst enemy. The guy with the shield. Get back, get back, get back. This guy is tough. There we go. did it Are you with us? new outfits with the bureau. I are you still sane yes I am okay hey, where do I need to go upstairs please no talk this to is the we saw you deal with the compromised agents Okay, where it was? Yeah, sure. Come out. Was it somewhere here? No.
I don't just want to miss something. Okay. Where was it? Not here? Here it is. Nice. There's other one. Alright. Dead end. Okay, here it is. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! Director... Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Yeah, yeah. I'm... Push the hiss out. Push the hiss out. Well, this is interesting. Let's try it out. Shit. It didn't work. 
This has burrowed too deep. Ripping it, it, it out it rips them apart. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Damn, nobody's answered the phone. Pick up the phone now. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The hotline Isn't there? should be in the communications department. Okay, uh, what do we want to know? Origin of the his? Where did the his come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but... I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. The oldest house. Okay. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? 
This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Object of power. Can All you right. tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural whoa, forces, whoa, whoa. but are Calm down a little bit. and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Yeah, I was about to Got think it. same thing. Thanks. So Let's HRA hear it stop you from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Oh, wow. That was a lot of information what you gave, gave us. I don't even remember all of those. But I'm sure we figured that all out in some point. House memory. Damn it. I need some upgrades. Right. Search the area. Is there anything? Uh... Yeah, I know. Every game, and I mean every level, has some kind of secrets around. Wait, did I? No. This is not the right place. Okay, there is some collectibles. Thank you. And here as well. No, it's the damn radio. Really? Nothing? This is properly locked. Yep, it is. Oh wow, I found a box. Hmm. 
Now, this kind of uh, I I looking for these mods because they are very useful. Now, these both are health recovery and element pickup. I just upgrade mine to plus twenty four percent. So yeah, if I get in hit in some point, so only what I need to do is pick up those elements, what enemies left behind after I kill them. Now have a gun. This is the same place where I were. No, that is not the right place, but I can still grab those. Oh, I can't. Ah! I lost my pistol right away when I came back here. So I guess this is the kind of safe house. Same ready again. I know it's upstairs, by the way, that place, and I found a box already. Wow! Weapon armor damage! I haven't got that one yet. Where it went? Here? Yes. Weapon armor damage. Damage against enemy armor. 45%. Holy shit. I'm sorry, my language. I was getting too excited about it. The last one what I found on my last stream, actually. I mean, what mod I found was 45% uh, for headshots. I really need that against that um, enemy. I mean, that boss fight. Yeah, damage against enemy armor, 45%. This is very nice mod. So, so it was downstairs that place where we need to go, huh? No, there was that director or whatever her name is. Or was it here? What is this place? I haven't checked out this one yet. Okay, this is pretty empty. About this one. Uh-uh. Please wait here. You got it. Okay, this is the place where I need to go. Yes. Okay. There it is again. Box of A welcome message. Alright guys, I think this is the end of the first part, I'm starting recording the second part very soon, so I just uh, stop saying, uh, thanks for watching.